Almost three weeks after her death, family and friends gathered during a candlelight visual and shared their favorite memories of Cassidy Mungin. I spoke to her mother, father, and brother for the very first time. They tell me they believe that their lives were lost with Cassidy's. If I saw you in heaven. She was very into the arts, and I think that inspired me to, you know, pick up instruments, paint, and do things that I probably before wouldn't have even considered. And she was compassionate, and she was very strong, and she stood up for everything that she believed in. She was all bandaged and swelled up and just looked horrible. She had gone through such tra traumatic injuries, and we held her hand, and they took out the uh, breathing tube, and and she she died in front of us. No loved one should ever have to see someone they love in that condition, and to know that the person that hit her hit her and left her, did not check on her, just walked away. It it kills me. We love her and that we wish that we could have spent more time with her. It's just it's like the rug pulled out from under your feet, you know. It's, it's just gone. She's just gone. Wednesday morning, family and friends of Cassidy's will be back here outside of the courthouse, but with a different tune. Her father tells me they'll be rallying for justice for Cassidy. In Clay County, I'm Healy Harrison, First Coast News, on your side.